June 7th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy and glorious martyr Theodotus of Ancyra. Saint Theodotus was a Christian of Ancyra in Galatia and had been brought up in piety by the holy virgin and martyr Thecusa. Being married, he worked honestly as a tavern keeper and made use of every opportunity to practice charity to all impartially, Christians and infidels alike, to such a degree that God gave him the grace to perform miraculous healings. When, under the direction of the governor Theotechnon, persecution raged in Ancyra, Theodotus turned his inn into a refuge where Christians could find food that had not been offered to idols. In peril of his life, he visited the confessors in prison to encourage them not to weaken, and buried the bodies of the martyrs. By this means, he was able to encourage his friend Victor to martyrdom when the persecutors were attempting to overcome his resolution with false promises. Filled with new courage, Victor patiently suffered the torture but gave way at the last moment so that at the end of the contest, he asked to reflect on the propositions they had made to him. Returned to prison, he died of his wounds, deprived of the crown of victory. Another Christian called Valens, having resisted to death, Theodotus gathered his relics, which had been thrown into the river Halys, and went to bury them in the town of Malos. There he met a group of Christians whom he had earlier freed from prison. In the joy of finding one another again, they decided to share a fraternal meal and invited Fronton, the priest of Malos, to join them. After the meal, Theodotus advised Fronton to build a chapel in that peaceful place to house the relics of the martyrs, and giving him his, his ring as a pledge, promised to obtain holy relics for him. On his return to Ancyra, Theodotus found the town in great confusion after the arrest of his aunt Thecusa and her six companions. He remained in hiding with other Christians and prayed for the confirmation of the saints in their trials. As soon as he heard that they had died by drowning without having denied the Lord, he gave thanks to God and turned his lamentation to tears of joy. Having learnt the details of their sufferings, he mused over some way of tricking the God's surveillance to get possession of the saints' bodies and give them Christian burial. Saint Thecusa appeared to him while he was at prayer, reminding him of the care she had taken to teach him to live according to the gospel, and advised him to go quickly and fearlessly to carry out this God-pleasing mission. Shrouding himself in the darkness of night when a terrible storm had arisen, Theodotus and his companions reached the lakeside. The guards there, frightened by the apparition of the holy martyr Sassander, armed and surrounded by flames, fled in terror, and the water, disturbed by the storm, gave up the bodies of the saints. They were thus able to gather them and give them devout burial in a church known only to themselves. The next morning the whole town was in turmoil on learning of the removal of the holy martyr's bodies. On the governor's orders, the soldiers arrested all the Christians they came across to put them to questioning. Polychronion, one of Theodotus's companions, was arrested, and losing courage under the torture, revealed where the bodies had been buried and denounced Theodotus as the one responsible for the enterprise. Deaf to his friends' pleas that he flee, Theodotus went to hand himself over to the governor, confiding himself to the power of the life-giving cross. When he went into the interrogation hall, he looked with a smile at the fire and the instruments of torture, and rejecting Theotechnon's proposals with scorn, derided the weakness of a religion that needed so many armed men against a single soldier of Jesus Christ. His words threw the governor and the pagan priestesses who tore their hair and rent their clothes into a great fury, and the crowd cried out that the enemy of the gods was being punished. After having had him beaten, the tyrant had the martyr laid on the gridiron and gave the executioners leave to tear his flesh with iron nails. They then poured vinegar on his wounds and touched them with flaming torches. Armed with supernatural endurance by the invocation of the name of Christ, the saint replied to his torturers that these sufferings, far from overcoming him, gave striking proof of the strength that God gives to those who love him. They broke his teeth and jaw with stones. Then the torturers being exhausted, he was thrown into prison. 
Five days later, he was taken before the tribunal again and subjected to the same tortures, after which they laid him on red-hot bricks. As the torture remained ineffective and, moreover, exposed the magistrate to ridicule, Theotechnon ordered that he be beheaded and his body be thrown into the fire. Arriving at the scaffold, Theodotus gave thanks to God and prayed that he put an end to the persecution and give peace to his church. Then, turning towards the Christians who were present, he exhorted them to dry their tears and thank the Lord for having given it to him to finish his battle with happiness. He received with joy the sword cut that was to gain him the eternal crown. The pyre on which they placed his body was suddenly surrounded by a light so dazzling that the executioners could not get near to feed the fire, and the body remained undamaged. That same day, Fronten, the priest from Malos, arrived in town with a donkey bearing wine. The animal stopped in exhaustion near the place where the body of St. Theodotus was being guarded by the soldiers. Invited by the latter to spend the night with them, Fronten learned what had happened, offered that they try his wine, and having got them drunk, removed the body of the holy martyr, putting on its finger the ring that the saint had earlier given him, and heaved it onto his donkey. Guided by an angel, the beast went straight to the place that Theodotus had indicated to Fronten for the building of a church, and thus it was that he kept his promise to house his holy relics. Blessed is our God always and now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thy martyr, O Lord, in his courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from me, our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ, God, by his prayer, save our souls, since thou art merciful. Traversing the deep on foot as though it were dry land, and seeing the tyrant Pharaoh drowned, Israel cried aloud, Let us chant unto God a hymn of victory. O holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. The spiritual sun, showing thee to be a divinely shining star in the heart of his church, made the whole earth bright with the lightning flashings of thy contest, O blessed Theodotus. Holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. Dedicated to God from early youth, thou truly made thy soul to shine with God-given virtues, O Theodotus. 
and thou hast brought in the whole world thy venerable counter. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The far-famed martyr, perceiving the nets of error spread out over the earth, passed through all parts, strengthening the souls of the pious by grace with his teaching. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the excess of his compassion, the Son of God bowed the heavens and came down, and he was incarnate of the O Pure One, saving mortals from the serpent's error. There is none holy as thou, o Lord my God, who hast exalted the horn of thy faithful, O Good One, and hast established us upon the rock of thy confession. O Holy Martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. Turning the eyes of thy mind holy towards God, O celebrated martyr, thou felt nothing as thou bears woundings on the body, and was compassed with torments on all sides. Holy Martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. In no wise was thou shaken by the infliction of pains, nor the flatteries of the lawless, for thou wast founded upon the firm rock of the faith of Christ, O glorious martyr Theodotus. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The persecutor crushes thy body with many tortures, O blessed one, but he is wholly unable to weaken the temper of thy soul, which is made strong by divine love of the Saviour. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The choir of God proclaiming prophets, seeing from afar off the depth of thy mystery, O pure one, with diverse pronouncements, preaches of thee, as the mother of God, O all pure bride of God. A brightly beaming star that doth shine on creation with flashing light of wonders and sacred contentions. Art thou in all truth, O blessed Theodotus, and on this day we keep feast with fervor and compunction of spirit magnifying Christ as we observe thy resplendent and joyous memorial. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We know thee as the Mother of God, who are truly a virgin even after thy childbirth, O maiden. With longing we flee in faith to thy goodness and sympathy, for we sinners have thee as our certain protection and as our salvation in distress and temptations Thou only are blameless one. Christ is my power, my God, and my Lord, the honored church sings, crying out in godly manner with a pure mind, keeping festival in the Lord. O holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. Thou didst notably shame the prince of darkness with the wisdom of thy words and the grace of thy deeds, O Theodotus. And gloriously contending, thou didst raise up the victory against him. Holy Martyr Theodotus, pray to God for With us. With the fire of thy contest, thou truly burns up polytheistic error, O Martyr, and like a torch mystically kindled in the Holy Spirit, thou didst enlighten the whole world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Violently scraped on thy sides, and verily compassed round about with vehement sufferings. O glorious Theodotus, thou didst remain unshaken in thy mind, because of thy faith. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The fashioner made his dwelling in thy womb, while preserving thee an uncorrupted virgin after childbirth, even as thou had been before, and since he is compassionate, he renewed them that were corrupted through error. With thy divine light, illumine the souls of those who with love rise at dawn unto thee, O good one, that they may know thee, O word of God, to be the true God who calls all forth from the darkness of sin. 
O holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. In thy patience, thou didst endure the violence of the transgressors, the tribulation of the torments, and the burnings, O wise martyr, fenced about as thou wast with divine help. Holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. Thou made long journeys, proclaiming the word of true religion, O mother of godly mind. And thou didst turn on to the light, the erring that forsook the darkness of vanity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And upon a stalk like a lamb, O blessed martyr, thou bearest readings with iron claws like a fleshless being, since thou hast stripped thyself of the grossness of mortality. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The true word of the Father has thou born incarnate of thy venerable blood into to perfect natures, but one hypostasis, O pure virgin grace of God. Beholding the sea of life rising with a tempest of temptations, I flee to thy calm haven, and I cry unto thee, Raise my life up out of corruption, O most merciful one. O holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. Thy sacred words, thou didst anoint the sacred women for contest, O martyr, and they cast thou the enemy, plating crowns of incorruption by the manly wrestling. Holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. Edged about in soul with the Spirit's might, O admirable Theodotus, thou hast overthrown the spirits of evil with thy patience in tortures, and has received from God the diadem of victory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the fountains of thy blood thou hast completely quenched the altar fire of idols, O martyr of Christ, and with the dew of thy pains thou hast piously bedewed the souls of men, redeeming them from the flame of delusion. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that is truly beyond all creation, both the noetic and the visible, truly entered thy womb and became flesh, O ever-virgin, that he might form mortals anew. Thou hast appeared as the divine mountain that drops sweetness, a fountain of miracles, a sea of divine graces, and a limpid stream of the Spirit that waters souls, washes away passions, and brings exceeding joy to all that sing thy praise, O glorious martyr Theodotus. The angel caused the furnace to pour forth dew upon the pious youths, and the command of God which consumed the Chaldeans prevailed upon the tyrant to cry out, Blessed art thou, o God of our fathers. O holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. With the fire of thy pains, O divinely blessed Theodotus, thou didst quench the idols' fires, and in the torrents of thy blood thou didst drown the fleshless enemies, as thou didst cry, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Holy Martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. And thou hast destroyed, full error by divine grace, O wise Theodotus. Thou hast offered like sweet-smelling incense to him that set thy contest. Wherefore thou dost joyfully sing, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Keeping thy word, O martyr Theodotus, thou wast returned to the God-bearing fronto, as holy freight for the raising up of an august temple, unto the cleansing of all the pious, and for the preservation of their souls. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin Mother, by thee was the word conceived, bearing one hypostasis, while truly having two wills and two natural properties. For God and a mortal is he who was incarnate for our sake. From the flame didst thou cause dew to gush forth upon the righteous, and with water didst thou burn the sacrifice of the just one. For thou, O Christ, doest all things by thy will alone. Thee do we supremely exalt unto all the ages. O holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. O prize winner, thou hast proved to be an unshakable pillar, an unbending tower, 
an immovable wall, a foundation of the faith, a divine gift, a champion of piety, a destroyer of error. Holy Martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. By the healthmanship of divine grace, O all-wise and glorious Theodotus, thou hast crossed the great gulf of tortures, and in gladness has reached the serene havens of the kingdom on high. We bless by the Son and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thy ways and thy paths were directed straight unto Christ, the Lord and God of all into whose hands thou didst commit thy spirit, O thrice-blessed and prize-winning martyr Theodoto. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Even an eloquent tongue cannot tell of the unspeakable depth of thy mystery, O all-pure virgin. For beyond all words thou didst conceive the word of God for the salvation of all. Every tongue is at a loss to praise thee as is true. Even the world transcending intelligences are dazed when they seek to praise the O Theotokos. But since thou art good, accept our faith, for thou knowest well our love inspired of God. For thou art the protectress of Christians, thee do we magnify. O holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. With joy thou didst scorn the glory that is seen, that thou mightst attain to yonder glory, O prize winner. And at the divine beckoning thou didst set out for torments, fearing neither the diverse instruments of torture nor bitter death. Wherefore, when thou hast contended, thou hast crowned with the martyr. Holy martyr Theodotus, pray to God for us. O wise Theodotus, all blessed martyr, build up with divine deeds. Thou became the pure house of the Trinity, adorned with the splendors of illustrious contest whereby thou didst truly overturn the demon's temples and statues by the divine power of the Comforter. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast appeared as a divine mountain that drops sweetness, a fountain of miracles, a sea of divine graces, and a limpid stream of the Spirit that waters souls, washes away passions, and brings exceeding joy to all that sing thy praise. O glorious martyr, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And the voice of the angel, O all holy virgin, thou didst conceive the beginningless word, who from thy pure blood took flesh endowed with mind and soul, and cast down the fleshless adversaries, and saved our soul, who confessed thee to be the very Theotokos. Thy martyr, O Lord, in his courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by his prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, by the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molog, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy martyr Theodotus O Anchira, with the prayers of the holy martyr Zinais the Wonderworker, with the prayers of the holy women Isaiah and Susanna, disciples of Saint Pancratius, with the prayers of the holy martyr Licarion of Egypt, 
with the prayers of the holy martyr Starasius and John who were perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of our righteous father Stephen, with the prayers of our righteous father Antimas, with the prayers of our righteous mother Sebastiana the Wonderworker, with the prayers of the holy martyr Potamiaina of Alexandria who was perfected in martyrdom and cast into a cauldron filled with boiling pitch, with the prayers of the holy Haramat Marcellinus, Bishop of Rome, with the prayers of the Holy Haramat Marcellus, Bishop of Rome, and those with him, with the prayers of our righteous father Daniel of Skeet in Egypt, with the prayers of the holy righteous martyrs Peter the priest monk, Olabonsus the Herodicans, and Sabinian, Wistramund, Habentius, and Jeremiah the monks, who were all beheaded in Cordova by the Moors in 851 with the prayers of St. Coleman of Dromo and St. Mariadoc and those with them whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. With the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.